Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, it's time for a quick unboxing. This is the John Wick Chapter 3 uh, Parabellum. Is that what it's called? Uh, Parabellum, yep. Uh, this is the third installment of the John Wick series. Um, as far as I know, it's the final installment, but I'm assuming it's it's, it's making so much money that they're going to keep making them. I don't think they're expensive to make. Um, I have not seen this film yet. Judging by my response, I, don't, I have no idea what happened with it, but... Um, uh, it's apparently very good, and I'm looking forward to checking it out. I really do like this um, this this cover. Uh, the other ones are actually where. Hold on a second. I have the other steel books. I got those a couple years ago, I think now, from um, <clears throat> Best Buy. Here's John Wick One and John Wick Two. Uh, John Wick Chapter Two, I guess. Um, these are just regular uh, steel books, not. I'm mean, um, the rays, not 4K. Let's the backs here. There's a cross there, and then there's this symbol with bullets, GW2. The thick one, that's pretty cool. Line up right there. <coughs> right? John Wick 1, or John Wick, John Wick Chapter 2, and John Wick Chapter 3. Pretty about them. Oh, I should also mention that a couple of weeks ago, or was it just like two weeks ago, um, Actually, a story, I ordered this initially right when I heard about the release, and it was just the Steelbook, and then like a month or so later, I don't even know, they announced this thing where you could buy this mini Steelbook that comes with it if you buy the Steelbook, and it was a, a separate entry in Best Buy's website, and I, once I saw people getting them early, I actually ordered this like just, <clears throat> excuse me, the weekend people were like making videos and pictures about receiving this little digital Steelbook thing, I canceled my first order and ordered this because um well it was still available so I did it. Um and this I thought was a lot bigger. I thought it was like literally the size of a seat of a disc. Um <clears throat> but no it's not it's very small. Look at this. John Wick chapter three kind of reads with that same um picture I think right there yeah from the first film. Or the steel book anyway. And inside it was just this card that right there he had the ContinentalVIP.com, and there's the code that I've already used, so I, don't, I mean, I guess you can try using it if you want. Here, go ahead. Maybe it'll work twice. And it says the Continental on the back. New York, Rome, and Casablanca. Which was cool, and this is the, just the J card on it. There's the design, I guess. If anyone cares. I didn't do an unboxing because I thought, I mean, you know, who cares? And there's there was a bunch of them. And I guess there's going to be a bunch of these too, but I'm just used to doing unboxings for Blu-rays. But this is the first time that I've seen this. I don't know if this is going to be a continuing thing. Or if it's just a promotion for this film. But uh, there's that. Kind of dumb, but whatever. <clears throat> I'm getting two digital copies, I guess. So that's cool. Although one was, this is this was just regular Blu-ray, even though it was a 4K a Steelbook like, pre-order. But either way, it's just an extra um, digital copy. So Anyway, how about I fucking open the damn thing before I babble on into eternity? I liked the first John Wick, and I, I, I enjoyed the second one, too. It was a little bit more convoluted, if I recall correctly, but I enjoyed it. Get the stickers off there, the, 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 the glue. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's that, and I don't see any dings. This is a matte finish. It's not glossy. It's a little shiny, though. And here's the back of this. Let's see what that looks like. And that's different than these ones. And that, and uh, that. That's cool. There's some differences and stuff. Like I said, I don't see any dings. And if there, if there were dings, I guess it'd be harder to see with this cover. Like I said, I do like this a lot. I was hearing that people didn't care for it, which, I mean, teach their own, I guess. Let me get the code out here. <clears throat> Actually, how does this work? This is actually a different... This is not... There's no code in here. <clears throat> there's a... Download the app and scan. Interesting. Is it because I already got the code? Hmm. 
Interesting. I don't know if this is the future of digital copies, but that's kind of fascinating. All right, well, I didn't buy it for the code. I bought it for the disc. Okay, so here's the cover. Actually, here's the back with the cover there. Again, very cool. I think that's neat. Nice design. Here's the inside. And this is the first I've ever seen something like this. It says limited edition. This is number 34,216 of 35,000. So actually, I don't know if that's the order in which they sold them, which I guess is possible, but... Because I did, I ordered a box just like two weeks ago, so maybe they were, I have, I have no idea if they're closer to being gone or not, but that's neat. I've never seen that in uh, these steel books. It just goes to show how many there actually are. They're printing 35,000 of these, which seems like a lot, but I guess there's way, way, way less than the actual, um, the 4K release or whatever. I think they're, they print like hundreds of thousands of those. So anyway, here's the disc, <clears throat> which is the 4K on the right. And the exact, oops, it's not the same image actually. Hold on. There's a blue ray on the left. And it's got uh, just John Wick on the left just standing there. And on the right here, the 4K, it's him on a horse, which is kind of cool. I remember the first official images were of him on a horse, and that was neat. In the background is a bunch of guns on a wall. And some bullets down there too. 34216 of 35,000. Cool. Okay, so I guess that's it. <clears throat> Let me check out this digital copy thing. That seems very odd to me. I'm not going to show it to you because there's a... a um, well, I guess I can cover it up. There's a, there's a, there's a, a QR code right here. So I'll have to figure out how to do that. Follow the on-screen instructions for redeem digital copy. It's just seeing a digital copy on here, which you shouldn't be, but I don't know. So, if this is how they're doing it from now, I guess that's a bit more... Um, Safe or is that the code? Hold on, that's it right there. Okay, I'm, not, I'm an idiot. It's just really small. Okay, <laughs> never mind me, just babbling. Anyway, I'm, I'm just gonna cut it right here. This is cool. Like I said, I think it'd be really cool as a nice big poster. I think so. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you again for more steelbooks and horror unboxings. So, see you later. Bye.